What is up guys, Rezzy here with a new video on how to obtain the new fusion rifle Null Composure in Destiny 2. This is an amazing fusion rifle and I highly recommend that you get your hands on it this week. In this video I will be going over the fastest methods to obtaining this weapon. Pick up a solar fusion rifle and head straight into the Lake of Shadows strike. Make sure that you gather some team members that are willing to dedicate maybe an hour or an hour and a half at max. For this, whenever I'm going for the kills, I happen to use the Merciless Fusion Rifle, or you could even use Jotun. The absolute best strat that you can do is split off the blights per teammate. So, I go up to this blight, I shoot it one time, and then I leave it for my teammates to finish off. I then proceed to the next blight, and then I skip by it entirely. This is so that I can leave it for my second teammate, and so that I can take out the third blight alone. These strikes happen to take maybe 3 minutes for the average team, to 2 minutes for my team to complete. So, depending on how fast you run through these, you'll have that quest done extremely fast. Included in the quest line, you have to do Vanguard Strikes, Gambit, or Crucible to obtain the quest progress, and the way that I like to do this is by running these super fast strikes that give you 3% per completion. For these really fast completions, I run Lament and I run Dawnblade, but instead you can run a Falling Guillotine and a Merciless or Jotun in your secondary slot. Throughout this strike, you can skip by a majority of the adds. You're only going to be killing about 3% to 2% of them. To be quite honest with you, you will end up getting the first portion of the quest done before the activity progress. On a side note, only 15% of my viewers are subscribed, and the other 85% should definitely click the subscribe button for future content. It's free, and you can always change your mind later. Enjoy the video. My friends have spent hours trying to get this weapon, farming for kills and crucible, but you can spend one hour, guaranteed less than two hours, farming for this weapon if you choose strikes. Once your team is done with the kill portion of the quest, you can tell them to swap to 4th Horseman to kill the Blights much much faster, and so that you can melt the boss at the end. You can skip by almost every single ad in this room as well. The best strategy for the final boss would be to use Lament, Falling Guillotine, or 4th Horseman. You might think that this is too many strikes that you'd have to run, but hear me out, 33 of these equals an entire quest completion. Now, an average Crucible match would normally last 5 or more minutes. Now, for these strikes, when you have a really good team, or even just a fast movement for these strikes, you will end up getting them done in less than 5 minutes, 3 minutes to 2 minutes, which is obviously faster than Crucible, and you'll be getting 3% per completion. As you can see, it's very, very easy to procure a two minute time. This is the run where we completed the quest. We killed the guy in charge and his big scary flight. Would we have a common goal? Civilians and guardians can see. Here are the statistics for the null composure. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.